A very young Richard Attenborough stars in tomorrow's matinee as the working class boy sent to public school. The guinea pig is tomorrow at ten past two. One woman who knows how to hit the spot. Is that me or what? And another who's still looking for it. Makes me tummy go like lemon meringue just to look at him. And a fella who's spotted them coming. Birds know better than to play games with me. Ellen and the lovers tonight from nine on four. What's got 32 legs and an endless pack of questions? An episode of 15 to 1, next on 4. It's such a good feeling to know your life insurance is in order, and many people our age have that peace of mind thanks to the over-50 plan from Sun Life. These bowlers are policyholders, so let's ask them why they joined. Two things attracted me to Sun Life. One, no medical. Two, the premiums were quite reasonable. I was worried about funeral expenditure. It's so easy to apply, and with six children, it's given me great peace of mind. Isn't it time you thought about what the future holds for you and your loved ones? Call free now on 0800 60 80 80, and Sun Life will send you your information pack. There's no obligation, and no salesman will call. Apply now and you'll be able to choose one of these free gifts to welcome you as a new policyholder. And remember, if you're between 50 and 80, you are guaranteed to be accepted. Thousands of people are already enjoying the security of cover with Sun Life. You can join them by calling 0800 60 80 80 now. Normally it takes me uh, three or four days to wind down, but on this one it took me a day. The steward, I mean, he's absolutely wonderful. Yeah. A little bit late at night, he out on the bed. <laughs> we were in hysterics. I'd like to book another cruise now. Oh, it's been a second honeymoon. <laughs> Whatever makes your holiday, we can make it happen. Air Tours, the holiday makers. Do you find, like me, that stairs can become a problem? Just call Churchill's the stairlift experts and you can have a stairlift like this installed in just days from now. In fact, Churchill's are so confident that you'll appreciate the benefits that they'll install one in your home with 30 days approval. And listen, a full refund if you're not delighted with the results. So why not give them a call right now and conquer your stairs? Let's have a go. Call Churchill's now on 0800 30 40 40 for a free brochure or home consultation. 0800 30 40 40. You could have a Churchill stairlift fitted in just days from now. The very best of the Panpipes. 40 wonderful tracks on the definitive Panpipes album. The very best of the Panpipes. <laughs> Cheltenham and Gloucester's direct 30 account. All payments and withdrawals are turned around within 24 hours. And, unlike some investment accounts, with C&G, your money earns a most interesting rate right from day one. So, because your money is working harder, for longer, you might need a hand. 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 Hand to help you carry it. Cheltenham and Gloucester run to make you richer. I will be here when you come back to me. I promise. Take up BT's friends and family Sky TV offer and you get 10% off the normal price. That's nearly 60 quid. And every month you get five and a half hours of free local calls at the weekend. Do it now. Call 0800 800 892. Remember the Blue Beetle? Promised us a long and happy life. Or oh, sadly, you'll miss out. I swear! Margaret wants to be helped to die. That's all I want is a choice. And two men are prepared to help her. Everyone should have that right to die. Once the pump starts, death is within seconds. A matter of life and death, nothing but the truth. Sunday at 8 on 4. I was there. I saw the killer. It's him. You're in jail. Not anymore. Why is he torturing me? He enjoys making you suffer. This is only the beginning, Grace. It'll 
It'll take one woman's courage, Thursday at 9 on 4. Ready or not, here I come. Yes! It's Channel 4. Michael Ford from Biddeford in Devon. Tim Catlin from Oxford. Jerry Byrne from Rugby in Warwickshire. Jeremy Kenyon Slaney from High Halden in Kent. James King from Canterbury. Brian Sheridan from Croydon in Surrey. Arthur Critchley from Worsley in Lancashire. Arthur Nielsen from Salford in Greater Manchester. Hamish Carmichael from Tolworth in Surrey. John Brown from Derby. Alistair Haynes from Newport on Tay in Fife. Jill Atkinson from Skipton in North Yorkshire. Val East from Blandford Forum in Dorset. Annette Howell from Perry in Cambridgeshire and Peter Mason from Sutton Coalfield in the West Midlands are all here to play 15 to 1. Introduced by William G. Stewart. Thank you. Hello. Today's previous winner is Hamish Carmichael from Tolworth in Surrey. Welcome back, Hamish. There's the finals board. If you were watching yesterday, you'll know that Martin Riley finally shattered the 15 to 1 record and he did it with a winning score of 333. For today, a winning score of around 170 might be enough for a place in the grand final. Two questions each in the first round, one correct answer from you to survive, and we start with Michael Ford from Biddeford in Devon. Michael, which European country lies landlocked between Germany, France, Italy, Austria and Liechtenstein? Switzerland. Tim, please. South African politics. The name, please, of the island in Table Bay on which Nelson Mandela was imprisoned. Rikers Island. Robin Island. Jerry, please. The media. Paul Dacre, Richard Addis and Phil Walker. What do they all do for a living? Sports journalists. They're newspaper editors. The Daily Mail, The Daily Express and The Daily Star. Jeremy, opera. Cho Cho San is the tragic heroine of which opera by Puccini? Carmen. Madam Butterfly. James, please. What is the name of the glen in Scotland near Octorada, which is the site of a famous hotel and golfing centre? Glenroths. Glen Eagles. Brian, please. Human anatomy, commonly called the collarbone. What is the correct term for it? Uh, the scapula. Clavicle. Arthur, please. National Days. The 14th of July is the anniversary of which event in France in 1789? Bastille Day. What's the, what was the event? Storming of the Bastille. Yes, indeed. Arthur, aviation, the international airline SAS. What does SAS stand for? South African system. Scandinavian Airlines system. Hamish, also the names of towns or villages, what geographically are Barton, Hickling, Ormsby and Alton in East Anglia? Uh, Norfolk Broads. They are, name, the names of broads, individual broads. John, what's the name of the Israeli parliament? The Knesset. The word Knesset, yes, it's pronounced Knesset. Alistair, children's literature. In the title of the novel by E. Nesbitt, who are Roberta, Peter and Phyllis? The real be children. Jill, please. The Kyrenia Mountains in the north and the Trudos Mountains in the southwest are on which Mediterranean island? Cyprus. Val, the environment. Maintained by an independent international body based in Switzerland, what is contained in the Red Data book? <laughs> Endangered species. Annette, which British city has railway stations called New Street, Moore Street and Snow Hill? Glasgow. <laughs> Birmingham. Peter, quotations from Alexander Pope. Fools rush in where... What? An angels fear to tread. And your second question, Michael. The general director of the Royal Opera House was knighted in the Queen's birthday honours list this year. His name, please. So I don't know. Now, Sir Jeremy Isaacs. Tim, in the world of music, who are or what is the NYO? Uh, New York Orchestra. The National Youth Orchestra. Jerry, this is Africa. The Kikuyu are the dominant ethnic group in which East African country? Mozambique. Kenya. Jeremy, please. Mathematics. What term is used for the result of multiplying two or more numbers? Integers. The product. James, please. The name, please, of the centre in Disney World in Florida that features future technologies using state-of-the-art computerised simulations. The Epcot Centre. 
Brian, please. The feast day of St George, the patron saint of England. The date, please. Uh, 23rd of April. Arthur, please. Shakespeare. Romeo and Juliet. Who marries Romeo to Juliet in the play? Oh, no. Friar Lawrence. Arthur, what in Canterbury Cathedral was the destination of Chaucer's pilgrims? Oh, the shrine of Thomas Beckett. Indeed. Hamish, please. The Bible. The name, please, of the village which was the site of Jesus' first miracle. Cana in yes. Galilee. Turning water into wine at the wedding feast. John, television and technology. What do the initials HDTV stand for? High density television. High definition. Alistair, please. What in Scandinavian mythology is Asgard? The entrance to Valhalla. No, it's the home of the gods. Valhalla is where they take their heroes to lie. Jill, television. The names, please, of the two regular presenters of Crime Watch UK on television. Nick Ross and Jill Dando. Val, what's the capital city of the state of Texas in the United States of America? Austin. Annette, please. Ancient Greece, the Minotaur, a mythological creature, was half man and half what? Bull. And Peter, the last question. Althorpe in Northamptonshire is the ancestral home of which aristocratic family? Spencer's. It is. <laughs> Three down, 12 to go. Laura? And they are Tim Catlin, Jerry Byrne and Jeremy Kenyon Slaney. And of the remaining 12 contestants, two still have their three lives intact. <laughs> this question for you, Michael. A correct answer and we can start nominating. What's the name of the newspaper on which Superman, alias Clark Kent and Lois Lane work? The Daily Planet. A number, please, Michael. Number nine. Hamish, M... N is the chemical symbol for which element? Magnesium. Manganese. Again, please, Michael. Number 11, please. Alistair, the name, please, of the limestone peninsula projecting into the Bristol Channel between Swansea Bay and Carmarthen Bay? The Gower. It is the Gower Peninsula. A number, please, Alistair. Um, 15, please. The New Testament, Peter. The Gospel according to St Luke. How many men were present at the Last Supper? 13. A number, please. Number 10, please. Science, please, John. Kepler's laws are laws relating to which science? Physics. Uh, Astronomy. Again, please, Peter. Number 8, please. Mathematics, Arthur. The term percent refers to the proportion of an item in 100. What does the term per mill mean? Per thousand. Indeed. A number, please. One, please. Theatre, Michael. Vladimir and Estragon are the two principal characters in which Samuel Beckett play. Sorry, I don't know. They're waiting for Godot. Again, please, Arthur. Uh, 14, please. Annette, for what would one use a quant, Q-U-A-N-T, on a river? For punting. Yes, it's pole. the pole that they use. Another Number six. Please? Zoology. Brian, by what name is the South African antelope Antidorcus marsupialis better known? Thompson's gazelle. The springbok. Oh. Again, please. Number eight, please. Arthur, poetry. In the first lines of a poem by Samuel Taylor Coleridge, where did Kubla Khan a stately pleasure dome decree? Xanadu. A number, please. Fifteen. Peter, religion. What do monophysites, monophysites believe about the nature of Jesus Christ? That he is one person with God, equal to God. You've got to go a bit further than that. Th that he was purely divine and not human. <laughs> Again, please, Arthur. Number nine, please. Hamish. Famous quotations from May West, this one. Keep a diary and one day, what? <laughs> It'll keep you. Again, please, Arthur. Um, five. James, what name is given to the annual address given by the American President to Congress, usually in January of each year? State of the Nation. Well, precisely the State of the Union address, but yes. <laughs> a number? Um, number ten. John. Opera. In which Verdi opera does a Scottish general murder his king urged on by his ambitious wife? No idea. That's the story of Macbeth. Again, please, James. Number nine, please. Horticulture. In relation to flowers, what does the word anthesis mean, Hamish? Oh, 
it must be the composition of the central part of the flower, the stamens and um, Yours is a better answer than mine, but it's not the right one. It's in full bloom. Oh. Again, please, James. Number 11, please. The Bible, please, Alistair. Which two birds were the first creatures released by Noah to see whether the flood had gone down? Doves. A raven and a dove. Again, please, James. Number 14, please. Annette, imperial measurement. How many yards in one fathom? Eight. Two. Six feet. Again, please, James. Number one, please. Uh, Michael, the name, please, of the town in North Rhine-Westphalia in Western Germany that was the birthplace of Henry VIII's fourth wife. Hanover. Cleves, she being Anne of Cleves. Again, please. Number seven. Arthur. Which secret society formed in the 18th century has a reputation for organised crime among Chinese communities around the world? Tongs. The Triad. Again, please. Number six, please. Brian, what is point one two five expressed as a fraction? One eighth. A number, please. Uh, eight, please. Shakespeare, Arthur. Which Shakespeare play begins Act One, Scene One, Venice, a street? Enter Rodrigo and Iago. Othello. A number, please, Arthur. Um, uh, Fifteen, please. Medicine, Peter. Two branches of medicine are specifically concerned with the care of women. Gynaecology is one. What's the other? Obstetrics. A number, please, Peter. Uh, number 12, please. Jill, what name is given to a syndicate or consortium of producers which regulates prices by restricting output and competition? Monopoly. Cartel. Again, please. Number 13, please. In which century did Macbeth become King of Scotland and Canute and Edward the Confessor both ascend the English throne? Ninth. Eleventh. Peter, please. Number five, please. James, what word means clashing unpleasant sounds and is the opposite of euphony? Cacophony. A number, please. Number 14, please. Legal terms, Annette. What term is used for establishing the validity of a will? Probate. Again, please, James. Number 12, please. Jill, chromatics is the science of what? Something to do with colour. Yes, colours. It is colours. Um, number five. From an essay on criticism by Alexander Pope, to air is human, the next three words, please. <sighs> to forgive divine. Again, please, Jill. For number 15. Peter, in which cathedral, of which he was dean, is the writer and satirist Jonathan Swift buried? Dublin. Which cathedral? Oh. Don't know, sorry. You should have just said St Patrick's. <laughs> Again, please. Number eight, please. Arthur, the Bible, Leviticus. How often were the ancient Israelites required to observe the sabbatical year during which land would be left uncultivated? Three. Every seventh year. Again, please, Jill. Number seven, please. Theatre, Arthur. Who or what traditionally in the theatre is Walter Plinge? Walter Plinge. The prompter. No, it's the name used by an actor when he's required to play two parts. Number 11, please. Alastair, the Great Bitter Lake forms part of which famous international waterway? The Suez Canal. A number, please. Um, five, please. James, which Oxford College was founded by William Morris, the British car manufacturer and philanthropist, after the title he took when he was created a baron? Nuffield College. A number, please, James. Uh, number eight, please. Trade names, Arthur. The name of which supermarket chain is derived from the names of T.E. Stockwell, a tea supplier, and John Cohen, the company's founder? Marxist. Tesco. Again, please, James. Number 11, please. Alistair, technology. Developed by Philips and Sony, what does CD-ROM actually stand for? I often got a clue. <laughs> well, the CD is easy, that's the compact disc. The rest is read-only memory. Again, please. Number 6, please. Mathematics, Brian. If two interior angles of a quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees, what do the other two angles add up to? Uh, 180. Yes, making 360. A number, please, Brian? Uh, 12, please. Jill, the name, please, of the sacred shrine in the Great Mosque at Mecca that contains the sacred black stone? I don't know. The Kaaba. Brian, please. 15. Peter, Italy. Which Italian region includes the city and province of Rome? Tuscany. Lazio.
12 down, three to go, and after the break, James King from Canterbury, Brian Sheridan from Croydon in Surrey, and Val East from Blandford Forum in Dorset will be here for the final. Do please stay with us and give them your support. Finished double action tablets, two layers for superior cleaning, and now a new bigger value pack. friend, Dilip. Ah, home pride curry sauce. Cooks so well in the oven, and it only takes a couple of minutes to prepare. So you've got more time to spend with your family. Ah, curry in a bevy. As we Scots say, stone stuff. <laughs> home pride cooking sauces. Authentic flavours from all around the world. Also available in Glasgow. You know Daz is good value, right? But did you know just how good? Especially when compared to some other leading brands. We asked some people what they thought. I don't think there is much distance between the top names. There's only coppers between them. There's not much difference. They're all much the same, really, aren't they? Well, there is a difference, and it could buy you a whole bag of spuds. I didn't think it would be that much. I'm shocked. I mean, that's, that's, what, that's a meal, isn't it? Well, it makes you realise then, doesn't it, how much you are saving. Why don't you check out Daz against other leading brands? Bags more whiteness, bags more value. Charlie Tango, Charlie Wonder Base, uh, SBA on board. Nad West have a small business advisor <laughs> in every high street branch. Have you got another woman in there? Oh, God, break it up. <laughs> if you have difficulty getting upstairs, a Stanner stairlift will make it easy for you. Simply press a button and you'll glide up or down smoothly and safely. This model even goes round corners. Your Stanner could save you the trouble and cost of moving away to a flat or bungalow so you can carry on enjoying life in your own home. For your free information pack, dial 100 and ask for free phone Stanner. Why wait for beautiful hair? You can have amazing shine from the first time you use Organics Root Nourishing Shampoo and Conditioner. Healthy looking shine instantly. Oi, Churchill, could you save me money on car insurance? Oh, yes. Just by calling 0800 200 300? Yes. OK, can I pay monthly? Yes. Get an instant quote? Yes. Instant cover? Of course. Ah, I suppose I've got loads of forms to fill in. Oh, no, 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 no. And I could still save on my car insurance? Oh, yes. Ring Churchill now on 0800 200 300. Give the dog a phone on 0800 200 300 and see how much you could save. Surviving contestants in today's 15 to 1 final are James King from Canterbury, Brian Sheridan from Croydon in Surrey, and Val East from Blandford Forum in Dorset. Thank you. Welcome back. James, Brian, Val, put your fingers on the buzzers, and here we go. British politics. On the 25th of January 1981, the Limehouse Declaration, made by four senior members of the Labour Party, set up the Social mm. Democrat. Brian? Oh. Uh, David Owen, Bill Rogers, Shirley Williams and uh, Roy Jenkins. I was only going to ask for two. <laughs> <laughs> the USA. What are 212 for New York, 213 for Los Angeles... <phone rings> James? The telephone area code. Yes, and 214 for Dallas. In July of this year, the cricketers Ian Botham and Alan Lamb were involved in a civil suit brought against whom? <phone rings> Brian? Imran Khan. Indeed. And who is Imran Khan's famous father-in-law? <phone rings> Brian? Uh, James Goldsmith. Indeed, Sir James. Three correct answers. The choice is yours. Question or nominate? Uh, nominate to uh, James, please. James. Still Sir James Goldsmith. He is a member of the European Parliament. In which country is his constituency? France. Question or nominate? Uh, nominate Val. Val, what's this about? 
Mount Everest is the world's highest mountain at just over 29,000 feet. But Mauna Kea in Hawaii is 33,500 feet high. So how come it's not listed as the highest mountain in the world? Because it's a volcano. No, its base is below sea level. Again, please, James. Uh, Brian. Already television history, Brian. Why are families called the Webbs, the Svensons and the Lockheads no longer seen together on BBC television? They were all in the ill-fated El Dorado. James, again, please. Uh, Val, please. Val, what is the English version of the slightly disbelieving Latin phrase cum grano salis? With a grain of salt. Or a pinch of salt, whatever you like. Question or nominate? Um, James, please. James, the late Evelyn War. His son is the editor of the Literary Review. What's his son's name? Oberon War. Question or nominate? Uh, question, please. What unit of area was originally defined as as much as a yoke of oxen could plough in a day? An acre. Question or nominate? Uh, nominate Brian. Brian, the 16th, 17th century violin maker Niccolo Amati. Who is his most famous pupil? Um, Stradivarius. Well, Antonio Stradivari. Stradivari, yes, of course, is the violin itself. Question or nominate? Uh, nominate uh, Val, please. Val, what name links a king of Israel from the Old Testament with a citizen of Tarsus in the New Testament? Paul? No. <laughs> it's Saul who became Paul. Again, please, Brian. Um, nominate Val again. Proverbs. You can't make bricks without what? <laughs> Straw. Again, Brian, question or nominate? James, please. James, what is formed in the process called ossification? Bones. Question or nominate? Uh, Brian, please. How is the character Archie Rice described in the title of a play by John Osborne? The Entertainer. Question or nominate? Nominate. What name is given to houses and departments which are in the gift of the monarch, for example, those found at Hampton Court or St James's Palace? Grace and favour. Question or nominate? Question, please. What term is commonly used in English law to refer to a minor under the protection of the High Court? A ward of court. Yes. Question or nominate? Nominate, please. In Christian tradition, who are Caspar, Melchior and Balthazar? The three wise men. Yes, or the three kings, the Magi. Magi. Question nominate. or nominate? Uh, question, please. Famous sayings from the Sam Goldwyn collection. Let us have some new what? History. <laughs> Clichés. Clichés. Fingers back on the buzzers, please. <clears throat> This is famous advertising slogans. The sequel to which popular film was advertised with the line, just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water? James? Jaws. Yes, and the sequel was Jaws too. Uh, Question or nominate? Nominate, please. To what in America in the 18th century did the Englishman Charles Mason and Jeremiah Dixon give their names? The Mason-Dixon line in the United States. Indeed. Question or nominate? Nominate, please. The 19th century, the modern Olympic Games were established. Queen Victoria celebrated her Diamond Jubilee. Oscar Wilde was sent to prison. In which decade of the 19th century? The 1890s. Question or nominate? Uh, nominate, please. Famous dictums, or dicta, I suppose. Work expands to fill the time available for its completion. Whose law is that? That's uh, seen Northcote Parkinson. Indeed. Question um, or nominate, Brian? Nominate, please. The Cabinet. Who is the present Secretary of State for Defence? Michael Portillo. Question or nominate? Nominate. Shakespeare. King Richard III. What cry for help is the last line that Richard III speaks in the play? Um, my king for a horse. My, or a horse, a horse, my king for a horse. Indeed, Brian. A horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. <coughs> Question or nominate? Nominate, please. The Highway Code. Look at that, James. What does that sign mean? Uh, it's a pedestrian walkway. It means no pedestrians. Again, please, Brian. Nominate again. In 1928, a young woman calling herself Anastasia Tchaikovsky arrived in New York aboard the liner Berengaria. Who did she claim to be? The Grand Duchess Anastasia of Russia. Yes, the last surviving daughter of the Tsar of Russia. <laughs> Question uh, or nominate? Nominate. Brian. Formerly marshland, they have been drained for agriculture since the 17th century. What name is given to the flat, low-lying areas of eastern England? Fens. Question or nominate? Nominate. Mythology. Which of the Greek gods is depicted as a winged child armed with a bow and arrow? 
um, Eros. Question or nominate? Nominate. What name is given to the string of small islands that run southwestwards from the southern tip of Florida? Keys. Question or nominate? Question, please. Science and geology, this one. Petrology, P-E-T-R-O-L-O-G-Y, petrology, is the study of the origin, structure and composition of what? Rock. Question or nominate? Nominate. In which south coast town are the Royal Naval Museum, the Mary Rose Museum and HMS Victory? Portsmouth. Question or nominate? Question, please. Who in Arthurian legend was the son of Lancelot, Dulac and Elaine? Galahad. Question or nominate? Question, please. What Latin word used particularly in printing means let it stand? Stet. Fingers back on the buzzers, please. <clears throat> Which resort town on Traumatic Bay, featured in the cult TV series The Prisoner, was created... <phone rings> Brian? Port Marion. It was. Question or nominate? Question, please. Which ocean lies between the east coast of Africa and the west coast of Australia? The Indian Ocean. Question or nominate? Question, please. Children's literature. In the series of books by Hugh Lofting, who is the animal-loving hero who learned to talk to the animals? Dr. Doolittle. Question or nominate? Oh, question. What is the name of the device which measures the height of an aircraft above sea level? The altimeter. Or altimeter, whichever, yes. Question or nominate? Question. Which king of the Huns was known as the Scourge of God? Attila. Question or nominate? Nominate. The old port town of King's Lynn, the royal residence of Sandringham House and the famous Merion Shrine of Walsingham are in which English county? Norfolk. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you know the uh, rules of the scoring in this game. James, your score of 151. Brian, yours 171. And 10 points left for that life there. 181, position number five on the finals board, and I suspect a fairly good chance of a place in the grand final. Well done, James. <laughs> and well done, Brian. Well done. <laughs> and we'll be back tomorrow at four o'clock. See you then. Stay with us on Channel 4. The search for the supreme champion of Countdown starts after the break. What's all the fuss? Cutting costs and making money. Did one say money? Hard cash. What's the catch? We would all be seriously rich. Oh, great. I can get out of the rat race. Essential viewing for everyone who wants to beat the system and be a winner. Dosh. Pound signs, darling. Thursdays at 8 on 4.